Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Today we are investigating um, <clears throat> this little mansion up on a spooky hill and there's this guy going around murdering everybody. So, yeah, um, we're here in the dining room to investigate what's going on and let's just get started. Let's investigate the dining okay, table. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... There's a button there. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. So it's one of the YouTubers, wow. then. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the traps show that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them, understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you gonna interrogate first? Let's investigate Lizzie first. Lizzie! Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone, probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? Oh, and so that's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? I wouldn't waste my time in all these white pumpkin games. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the White Pumpkin isn't me? You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. 
Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. You're looking for a likely culprit? I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Who's up next? Let's get Dan. Can you send Dan in, please? Right. I saw Lizzie on the way out. I don't know what she told you, but... I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. Oh, I see. Someone stole your loot, and you want revenge, huh? That about the long and short of it? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want what's rightfully mine. I mean, we all want it. Doesn't mean I kill people for it, though. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I, I don't like uh, accusing people, but my guess would be Stampy. He likes to play it off like he's not interested in it, but I know he wants it just as much as any of us do. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Have you talked to Stampy yet? He loves bows and arrows and stuff. Everyone's accusing Stampy. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when Stampy comes in, don't forget to ask him about Redstone. He's amazing with that stuff. Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not, um, as much as the others at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you. God, why is he so it's suspicious? It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's friend! I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, you know, about average, average level, moderate. He keeps I don't lying. Know how these things are graded these days. That's funny because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What? Uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay. Okay, 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 fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Know anything about this? Oh, wow, what is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before, honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? 
I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on. He keeps lying. This is nuts. You had a button too. There's there. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Hey, Lucas could well, be it, one too. one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. Time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jessie was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having talked to all the key witnesses, I think it might be Stampy Cat. I think no, it's Stampy. That's crazy talk. Absolute crazy talk. Of the suspects, he's the one with the redstone chops to make all these traps. No, 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 no. You can't really believe this, can you? I'm thinking we lock him back in that library. Hold him there till morning. Sounds like a good plan. Sorry, Stampy, but we can't take any chances Oh, come here. on. I'm Stampy Cat. Mr. Stampy. I'm no white pumpkin. Well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. It must have been triggered from nearby, just like the table buttons. Sounds like we need to investigate near the trap, then. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for, exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive, concrete evidence. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Let's find some evidence. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh! Some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. With a lever to you activate the trap. That lever does. Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. Yeah, hopefully we, maybe we can like find someone back here, that'd be sick. Could I actually straight Stanley's up find okay the person. Locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. 
Sort of. What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! I'm guessing that must activate another trap. Maybe one that's visible through that peephole? Let's take a look. I'm actually pretty interested too. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. I swear I saw I swear I saw eyes in there. Before. I can see Stampy locked up in there. They were watching us, I think. Hey, I have to speak to you. Oh, Dan, what are you doing here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Uh, Lucas? But I have to speak to you. It's really important. It was me. I killed Sparkles. What? You're the white pumpkin? Oh, what? No, 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 no. I swear, it was an accident. But, but, Dan, accident? Really? I swear, I had no idea. There was this button. I'm not good with buttons. I had to There's someone it. in that painting no right there. What do. Now I feel awful. Well, it's just... That's a little hard to believe. The white I know, I know. It sounds ridiculous. Well, I've been beating myself up about it ever since it happened. And then you got locked up in here? I just had to come in and clear my conscience. Yeah. What, what on earth? Ah, oh, that's not good. What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders, they're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. Let's see who's in there. Oh no, Dan's dying. Oh, and no. Dan's dead. What a shame. Enjoying the party. <laughs> oh, press C. E. Oh, that must have hurt. Oh, up and it's just me. This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Ah! <sighs> uh. Lucas, spooky room. Give me a moment. 
I'm trying to figure this one out myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was, and I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, 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 I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the white pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Dan is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Now, hang on. I may still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse saved me. It just wouldn't feel right to throw your friend to the googlies. Hm. Brave stance. Man, at least you're reasonable. Yeah, unlike some of these people. Fine. I think it's her. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. Or you murder him while you're keeping him that guard. Cool with everyone? That's not happening, unless one of us goes along, too. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. It's Cassie. No, I still think it's, it's Cassie. Of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. She's really mad about not wanting, not what killing him. What are we supposed him. to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Somehow the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. Stampy, you've been proven innocent, but I've still got questions for Lizzie. What? You can't be serious. Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? Trying to mind my own business? Sitting quietly and counting the seconds till I could leave? Terribly stressful sounding hobbies, really. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Let's go check on uh, Stacy over here. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. How can you make sure. cookies in this house? Where, where do you find ingredients? Just find ingredients, random... He must have gone through one of these paintings or something. Hmm. Let's punch this one. Hmm. Let's punch this one. Another secret passage. Yeah, he must have gone through there. Nope. Very locked. Okay, so this thing is a lock. Well, this looks promising. 
I wonder what order these need to be in. Oh, it's an order of deaths. I get it. So we need to take first is the arrow. Okay, that seems like a step Yeah, in the because right uh Torque died from the arrow. Next, uh Sparkles died from sand. And uh Dan died from Ooh, spiders, yeah, which is the spider right. web. So yeah, we need to do an order of deaths like that. There we go. Awesome. Yep, that is the door open for us. Cool. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? Petra, let it go, okay? They're just scared. Well, let's prove them. Fine. Innocent, then. But if she says something like that again. Yeah, I really wouldn't want to be there for that. Come on. Wow, that is deep. It's probably not smart to leave those three alone since one of them is probably it, but. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just. I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Petra, don't worry. We're gonna stop the White Pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. It's gonna be fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just... Really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. All right, what have you got let's figure out how to get door? down there. Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. Make ladders. You think some ladder? Yeah. Yeah, let's make some ladders. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Done. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Oh, that's no oh, fun. Explains all the zombie noises. They're right there. That's no fun. Yeah, I'm good. Peace out.
I'm good. What's that? It's probably the item filtering system. That was Dan's stuff. This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. Look, I think that's Dan's. Mm hmm. That's a diamond minecart. Literally. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully, right to the white pumpkin. Yeah, so let's, uh. We hey, need to get up the there. Coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh yeah, and it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Too bad we don't have That's any more awesome. ladders. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab you some dirt. dirt. We're going climbing. Get all this dirt, smashing the Q button. Okay, I think we can jump from here. Ah, oh, no. No. Oh no! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Pull! 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 No problem. Almost embarrassing. You almost died. I'd be more worried about my life than how embarrassed I am. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? Oh, there you are. Nah, it's just another thingy. Okay, cool. It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. For white pumpkins. The white pumpkin must have heard us. Is that Dan TDM? He has the glasses on. What? Stampy cat? Oh, oh it's Stampy. What are you doing down here? I could ask you the same question. Well, that's needlessly confrontational. I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. So you're saying this is all your fault? No! Oh no, this is exactly why I've kept it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door if I ever saw one. Before we go in there, I just wanted to apologize about what I said upstairs. Yeah? Yeah, I know you tried your best to save Dan. It's not your fault the spiders got him. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Mm. Well, yeah, me neither. there's where the meowing's coming from. Plenty of Don't cats. Worry. We'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the white pumpkin's identity. Mm -hmm. uh. All right, guys, you know what? We're going to end off the episode right here. I think I've gone on for about a half an hour. So, guys, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun today. We had like, a couple of deaths. Just sad. But 
I'm really excited for the next couple episodes to see what's gonna happen. But guys, yeah, I enjoyed a I enjoyed today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to like and a comment as a sportsman channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.